Hello, I'm Sean and I'm the Autistic Naturalist. I'm on the hunt for 23 species of orchid found in Norfolk and today I am sort of surrounded by uh, members of the Dactyloriza family or the marsh and spot spotted orchid family and uh, right down here I have uh, several species to show you and this one uh, this one here is a uh, southern marsh and uh, it's you know, they can be ranging from pink to bright red purple deep, deep purple and the leaves are not spotty and for a uh, southern marsh uh, the, the reason why they're called southern marsh is that uh, there's a divide uh, bet in, between uh, uh, the uh, from if you separate England from the Humber, the River Humber, lower down from the River Humber, down south to uh, uh, as far as far south as you can go to the Ch English Channel, sort of all the, all that part of England, that is this species range the southern marsh orchid and further north you go it, uh, above the uh, uh, river humber is the northern uh, marsh orchid oh i have to get up i'm getting a bit wet and uh, the species over there have a more shovel shaped uh, flower while the southern marsh can vary but it's typically more slightly rounded on the lip and the bottom less lobes as well and while i'm here just down here this tiny orchid i believe is a pugsley's uh because the leaves are usually narrow and the uh flowers very uh, few and far between and usually facing this at one side and it is believed though that uh, DNA tests have suggest that this orchid may not be what we think it is it might actually be just another variation of a southern marsh orchid and but for the sake of this uh, quest I'm on, I'm going to tick it off anyway. So even if it is wrong or right, I'm going to tick it off because there might not be another chance of finding something that matches the description than that one. So you open that lid. So there's the pugs, these. I'm going to tick it off. And here is Silver Marsh. Take it off. Uh, till next time. Bye bye.